this is ready to for this Santa decor. I'm going to be using four of this coffee cans, empty, cleaned, recycling for. But if you don't have those kinds of things or you don't like coffee, you can purchase empty coffee cans online. Amazon has like a bunch of like coffee cans, like empty ones. I'm going to be gluing my four cans one on top of the other using my crazy glue, added glue on the edges. This is what it looks like so far and I do really recommend this glue for these kinds of things. But now I'm going to be painting three of my coffee cans. You can paint the four of them white if you prefer with my white acrylic paint, my brush, and I gave them like three or four coats. Feel free to use spray paint if you prefer. I'm going to be using my red, my brush, adding a stripe and that is going to be like for Santa's hat. I'm going to be making beige tone with this white khaki and pink, mixing this tree and this is going to be for Santa's face. Now I didn't find the clip of me showing you how I made this shape. So sorry about that, but it's pretty much like drawing a big B if you look at it from the side. Then I'm going to be working with this round sticky labels for the eyes. I'm going to be using my black sharpie, like a standard one, placing that on the middle of my round sticky labels and just tracing the shape. Then I'm going to be painting that with my black acrylic paint, my brush, like a detail brush, and this other brush that I do have the day I showed you how I did it or just where I got it from. With that fine brush outlining, filling it with my other brush. I'm going to be taking this other tool. I do have the DIY showing you how to make this. It's actually really easy and handy. Adding two dots on top with my watercolor paint again and then going with this other dotting tool, scribe tool that I do have a DIY showing you how to make as well. Adding some details on the eyes like adding a dot and then just dragging it. I'm going to be making a mustache for my Santa. For that I'm going to be using foamy paper, folding that, folding that again so I have like the same shape. Then just marking how long I want it to be and then working on the shape of it. Which is pretty much I guess like a leaf sort of shape. Cutting it, opening this, this is how you get an even shape. Painting this with my water clip paint, giving this two coats. For the third coat I decided to add some details like this for the hairs and it can kind of look like a shell as well. Gluing all my face and details with my crazy glue and I'm gonna be adding some shakes for my Santa. For that I'm gonna be mixing the beige that I did before with some pink. Using this brush that I do believe is like for eyeshadow adding this pinkish shade with like round motions like this and once it's dry I'm gonna be taking more beige acrylic paint that I did removing most of it and just working with whatever is left in the brush this is pretty much up to you I just wanted those cheeks to look a bit more subtle then I'm gonna be adding the details of like Santa's hat by just painting a like triangle on the edge like this and just giving this a few coats this is it for the face for now, now I'm going to be uh, drawing the belt, which is like a red stripe all across outlining and then just filling that in. Now I'm going to be painting Santa's costume. First, like outlining the shape, pretty much like two rectangles at the top and the bottom of my uh, belt, filling that in all around us until I'm on the other side. Then I'm going to be making Santa's buckle, again using my foamy paper, first cutting a rectangle, kind of like basing myself from the size of like the whole thing so it doesn't look too big or too small. Placing that piece of foam on top of the belt, basing myself on like how wide this is, using my ruler to just trace those lines and then just cut. I am going to be using first regular scissors and then I'm going to be using this like more detailed scissors for the edges. Then I'm going to be using my yellow acrylic paint, giving this two or three coats, doing this just in the middle. For my boots, I'm going to be painting this in black, but I'm going to leave some white for light to fluffy socks and then just paint from there to the bottom. I'm going to be adding some spray gloss, working outside with my gloves, letting it dry. And then as a final step, I'm going to be adding this detail to my Santa's hat. It's a round cut. You can use this for anything you want. Obviously, I'm just going to be using this as like a flower pot, adding this a block of foam and then just adding my fake plants. I bought them at the craft store like three or four years ago. I don't even remember. But I love the Santa. I think it looks really cute and just festive. You don't even need to add any plants or just flowers to it. I think it looks really cute by itself. I'm obsessed with this one. But yeah, I love how this turned out and hopefully you like it too. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out more Christmas decorations that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.